this is Wade from fishfindermouse.com and uh, we've actually moved into a new location and it's given us an entire video room, fixed video room, um, so that uh, I'm, where I'm always set up and I'm gonna be rolling a lot of little films like this where we're gonna show you all sorts of cool things that we've got and we're just gonna put little videos on YouTube and pop them on our website so you guys can really understand and we, we've been big on that, really understanding how our stuff works. Listen guys, we just came up with something with something very, very cool. Uh, maybe people don't really think about it that much, but look, if you, I mean, not everybody carries a, a 12 volt or a 20 volt or whatever one of these drills gives you when you're going uh, fishing or what have you, but man, I'll tell you, look, look at this guy that we came up with. Look at this thing. Look, you got our clamp, our dental clamp. Just put it together quick all right, right? Look at that, guys. Instead of actually hand, wind, hand winding this yourself, right doing that get your 20 volt or 12 volt or whatever drill and this is, the, this is the part that we've got made here and we love this thing it's great for when we're putting things together for you guys all of our customers that's what it looks like it'll be on our website very soon um and you guys i would recommend if you have a habit of carrying one of these uh hand battery lithium ion drills with you in your truck and you know you're going out on your boat and you have our clamp on systems, maybe you're on a rental boat. Hey, you got our gunnel clamps here, get one of these off our website where it's gonna be under accessories there. Uh, probably call it the um, gunnel clamp jaw uh, tightener or something. <laughs> It'll be on there guys, here, here like closely, there's the camera, can see it, what it looks like and it is a very, very cool quick tool. So we'll have that on our website if you wanna have that accessory, make it easy for you to wind our clamps together. But I wanna bring it back to uh, like again, the clamps in general. So we've I've shown you the little tool, so cool, so neat. Um, so like a while back, fishfindermounts.com, you know, we were doing these single jaw clamps and we do still do today, these guys here. This is our four inch jaw. So I wanna show you guys dimensions and everything of these, but these are solid aluminum clamps. Most people like that, that are out there, most, most companies that are out there, that have taken any kind of like um, swing at the portable market, making things portable and you don't have to drill into your boat or maybe you have a rental boat or whatever it is. They've done plastics and for clamps, it's not really good. We've done everything aluminum. It's just a fantastic quality. Just bring that close to the camera here. And you can see we've got all sorts of mounting holes all over. Even here, you can move like stuff that we make and everything's compatible with all the stuff. We make all this stuff. You can move, like let's say it was your live sonar mount with a pull and beam system. You can move it to this side of the clamp. You know, like the versatility of the stuff is amazing and the strength, the robustness of it, it is badass, guys. So uh, here, quickly with the tape measure, I'm just gonna show you guys some dimensions here. We got, if you're starting down here, we're looking around six opening and as you move up, you can see that's like five and three quarters and then it goes five and a half and then all the way up here, right there, it's like almost five and a quarter, a little bit more than five and a quarter. These jaws, if you take off these rubber, uh, these, these rubber pieces here, let's, let's, let's take our tool guys, look at this. Look at this, let's take our tool and really do it. Before I'd be daunted by doing this video, but whoop, be careful. Keep it on low torque. This is my drill setting, this was a bad idea. Keep this guy on low torque so when you do, Get back there and just stop off for you, right guys? Okay? So that's a little tip from Wade at fishfindermounts.com. So we're gonna take this guy, we're just gonna measure. So you can see that's what we call it our four inch clamp. And why we do that is how wide the jaw opens up here. This is four and a quarter right now. If you actually take these jaw covers off, right? They come off, guys. See, you can see I just brought it off. You take these off, you had to take these off, you're in a pinch or you need it just a tiny bit more. Well, you're almost four and a half here, and if you take this guy off, you will be at four and a half, even a little bit more. So these are really uh, our four and a half inch clamps, to be to be more precise. Our four and a half inch clamps. So there you have it. Now this hole here, really cool. Um, so guys, I just want to I want to alert you guys. Like we haven't been doing this forever, but it is kind of more of the last you know in the last year or so that sort of quite a few months that we've been doing this. This is, you can get this on our website, okay? This is our, uh, this is for our longer clamp, just our, our four inch clamp as we call it, really as you guys just heard today, 
four and a half, four and three quarter almost inch clamp. So this guy, this hole, what is this hole for? Well, you can upgrade to a dual jaw. So if you have one of these clamps from us, now not everybody will, unfortunately, but if you did happen to get one where there's a hole here and you don't actually have the second jaw, just don't, just, just know that you can actually go on our website, fishfindermounts.com, go under shop, and I think this is under accessories, our accessories page, and you can add your second jaw right there, guys, okay? There I am, upgrading my clamp to a dual jaw. And what is so cool about the dual jaw is it adds more clamping power, but it also offsets, like if you have a John boat and the boats are, the boat sides are very angled. Well, the second jaw will push back against that wall. And instead of the clamp following the angle or the trajectory of the angle of the boat, it will actually push back and correct to a large degree that, you know, if it's not, if it's more subtle, it'll get it right flat. But you can use that second jaw to flatten this guy out. And obviously the, you know, the more that you put that on there, you got more clamping power too. So just really cool, cool stuff. And you know, you guys just be familiar, when you go on our website, make sure you go on to shop and then replacement parts. We've got all sorts of these pieces, like these jaw covers if you lose them or whatever. Um, we've got all sorts of bits and pieces and everything that uh, if you need to get replacements, they are there on our website, fishfindermouse.com under shop and then replacement parts. Look at this tool guys, so cool, so cool. There we go. So now we've upgraded our dual jaw, our single jaw four inch clamp to a dual jaw right there. You can get this piece and this piece, it comes as a little package or a little set and you got that hole in that angled piece of your clamp there. Like I showed you guys, you can upgrade your clamp. Same thing with the two, same thing with these two, two and a half inch guys, okay? Same thing with these two and a half inch guys. There you go, There's this one's already done. This guy here is an example of one that does not have the hole. So we almost have none of these left, but we still the odd one. Most of them that we send out have the hole. So just FYI, guys. Now, I want to talk about the final thing. Like, so you know, we've done this because you know we've made these awesome gunnel clamps. We, you know, nobody has. We're the only ones in the world that have this. Fishfindermounts.com um, that can you know do boats that have fairly wide gunwale edges. You know, like up to like again four and a half inches if need be um, but you know as we use them and everything and what happens in the physics of these things is you'll find you, know, you have a single jar or whatever and as you clap and crank it it sometimes wants to push up so if you have your gunwale edge of your boat so guys if you can't reduce it over here I know it's a little bit messier and stuff like but again what I was trying to show you again I'm gonna get my little tool here make this <laughs> very quick i love this thing guys i just love it very happy so we take this here's the physics of it here's your boat okay guys this is an actual aluminum boat that alex and i took and uh, modified for trade shows and everything so this is actually a gunwale of a small i don't know probably a 12 inch boat but we take this guy and as we tighten this guy um this is not doing it in this case because it's very thin and fairly like like up and right wall. But sometimes I find like, if it, depending if it's thicker or whatever, this will ride up. It, as you clamp harder and harder on it, it doesn't want to, and, and then also like, you have only so much stability there too, right? Because it's a fairly thin wall of aluminum. So sometimes, sometimes it wants to just ride up for some reason. Well, that's where, okay guys, that's where the gunnel clamp stabilizer bar here, we sell it in a kit. It is awesome. You got to get it. If you want, if you have like a live scope application, guys, if you have a live scope application, you need it. You got to get it. You want to put it underneath the clamp. See this? Here it is on our four inch clamp and it makes, it's a game changer. Like you not only have a dual jaw situation and I was, I was just showing you guys too, as you start to clamp this on, you see it pitches down a little bit, not much, because it's not a lot of angle here, but this dual jaw guy, I'm gonna show you this. So here's our stabilizer plate too, guys, and that's where I'm going with this. So we've got our clamp, our single jaw, then we get it to dual jaw, and it is amazing. And then we get it to, then we get it to dual jaw with stabilizer plate. All of this on our accessories page and other pages too. Look at this. So now we have, our stabilizer plate. Now I've got the, we, we just 
brought this out where we got these nice little, oh, by the way, here, let's look at the stabilizer plate a little more here. Let's bring it back over here so it sees. So I, I, like before I put it on the boat, I'll show you a couple things there really quickly. Show you guys this stabilizer plate. So there's some nice neoprene or like, like they're basically just guards. So it's nice and soft. They stick on there. We'll include that in the package. You'll get that. These are optional. Because it rides high, sometimes it's nice. And if you have a wider gunnel, obviously, than what I was just showing you, it's nice to have these little, these guys, these little guys here. Um, because if it's riding a little high, these guys will skip, span that distance and, and touch the surface you're trying to touch. So you got really ultimate stability. So I'm just taking this guy off here. Let's just do that quickly. So now we don't have that option, which is fine. We're gonna set it on here like that. And again, we got our little, nice little rubber pads on there. And we are going to pop and cheat again, guys. I'm gonna cheat. You might wanna to go to a lower torque or <laughs> does not spin as fast. But uh, just don't want you guys wrecking anything. Yeah, that's already on there. You know, now, like you see guys, if, it's, if, if it rides high, you see the pitching here, right? It pitches back and forth, right to left, right? And then it can also bend this way and that way. Now, I wanna show you, so this dual jaw, wow, guys, you gotta see this, look at this. You see that right away, as soon as it engages, it wants to push back and bring the level of the clamp down. The more I push on it, it even wants to pitch it backwards. So it is quite a cool, plus, I mean, it's that, look, see this clamp moving here? See this guy? Well, look at this dual jaw. It, it, it can't move at all. It's, it's the boat moves, you know, this flimsy little display we made, but it's giving you the idea. And then the pitching back and forth, it, you really, if you have a larger gunwale edge, plus you can move this, by the way, guys, I should show you that. Um, let me show you that. You're gonna need to see that. But anyways, look at, look at guys. You're seeing like, this is phenomenal. This is almost like, an, and the reason why I'm going on and on about it, cause I've, you know, we came up with these things. We, you know, eventually finally got out to test them and things like that, man. We were like, you know, sometimes you make things up and you, you think, oh, that should work theoretically. And then you try it and you're like, wow, that really works. This is one of those things where it's just like, oh, that's so awesome. It's so good. It really did a great job for us and it will for you as well. I'll just take this off and I'm going to show you more about if the camera comes over here with me. I'm going to show you a little bit more about this. Just give me a sec here. I'm going to get my little tool here. So, wind this guy away. Wind this guy away. Why am I doing this? Because I want to show you how you install this. Just give me one second, camera man. So, what we do guys is we're gonna take our number three Phillips here, number three Phillips driver here, and you can see it fits nicely into these flat Phillips screws that we provide, okay? So this is the install, it's as simple as this, it's as simple as this, it's, it's amazing. It's got a little slot here, depending, like obviously this jaw is gonna be on the gunwale somewhere. It's gonna be in this region, So, but you have some adjustment this way, which is really nice too. But this is the install, so I'll show you. So this is our stabilizer plate, okay guys? Our stabilizer plate, just call it a stabilizer bar. It's really more of a plate. This is the kit that we're gonna, we're gonna provide you. It's got the assembly instructions, it's got the screw you need. If you get this standard or this option, you can get, get this package. You might not get the feet, whatever you like. And um, it's got, you know, it's got the, you can see it here. It's got the bar in there, the plate, I should say again. So there we go. And all we do, and you can see the groove is so that, oh, it, it nicely hugs the profile of the clamp. Good job on here, cameraman, by the way. So we really, really like this. Alex is doing a great job with the camera. Thank you very much. And so what we're going to do, this is going to go um, this way, right, guys? It's going to go this way. Okay. So you're going to want to be, it's going to, you're going to pick the hole, this hole here on this clamp. Now over here, okay, by the way, this is the four and a half inch clamp, guys. This is our two and a half. Let's do our two and a half, because you're like, what about the two and a half, Wade? Well, let me, I'll just show you quickly, right? It's easy, easy peasy. Let's do it. So we take this, 
Take this stabilizer plate again, worse than two inch. Dual jaw, single jaw, doesn't matter what you get from us. It all works, guys. Here we go with the two and a halfer. There's our one single screw. This is how easy it is. This is how easy it is. Look at that, done, bang, done. Tighten it down, and now you've got your stabilizer plate there. So again, in the package here, you won't have it like this. I cut these, because we're gonna give you the piece here, that piece of like rubber padding. Okay guys, it's in there. It's rubber substrate or whatever you wanna call it. Just cut it and place it however you like. You know, it's plenty of material there to get it to wherever you want it to be, to protect your boat surface or whatever, if you're really, really concerned about that. But like I showed you guys, it's just one screw, boom, you got your stabilizer plate. Man, when this thing is on, and I showed you earlier, when this thing is on, and that's just a demo boat that's not even a full boat. When this is on with a stabilizer plate and the dual jaw. So, hey, guys, in summary, awesome winding tool, right? Awesome clamp jaw winding tool. You got to get this. It's going to be on our website very soon under accessories. Get that. Awesome stabilizer plate. Wow. Making that pitch from left to right for your clamps pretty much neg negated. It's gone, right? Awesome dual jaws that you can even, if you have a single jaw with a hole in the clamp as I showed you before in this video, make sure you watch this video in detail. If you really wanna see what I'm talking about, man, I, I, I go through all the details. I know it might, might be a little bit long-winded, but you're gonna get a really good idea of how all this stuff works. So you got, your du you got your dual jaw kit, you got your stabilizer plate kit here. Man, you know, at the end of the day, you're gonna get a phenomenal, product that's going to make your fish finder you know mounting issues especially if you're going you know you want to be portable and you want to go from this boat to that boat to rental boats whatever you're going to get the best and then make sure you visit our website fishfindermounts.com and you, we have a merchandise uh place there if you want to get some of these cool awesome logo uh decals here guys just fishfindermounts.com decals logo it's so cool too what's that t-shirts oh yeah we're going to be having t-shirts very soon too for you guys so keep a watch out on that. Again, subscribe to our YouTube channel and make sure that you visit our website, fishfindermounts.com and call us toll free at 1-855-784-3474. Thanks for watching, everyone.